Hi, I'm Lily Craig and I'm from All in the Mind and I'm here to talk to you today about habits. And I'd like to thank India Herbs for allowing me to talk to your clients. Habits are something that we all have and we all need. Habits make our life easier. The mind likes the repetition and the patterns that habits create. It makes it work faster. But there are some bad habits that we don't want and some of us struggle with creating good habits in our lives. So I want to talk to you and share with you the fifth step in solving both of these problems, which is environment. Your environment either supports you or sabotages you. Your environment has many different elements. It can be the people around you. It can be the food in your cupboards. It can be the alcohol. It could be the time that you spend on Facebook your computer, your Blackberry, your Crackberry, your iPod, your iPhone. It could be anything that is around you that either sabotages your ability to move forward in your habits or helps you out. I recently came back from a trip from New Zealand over the Christmas holiday. And when I was there, I discovered that my environment had changed and unfortunately, one of the habits that I started creating for myself was changing too. Earlier this year, I decided to become a vegan and change my entire diet. So I was not eating any dairy or any meat. But if you've ever been to New Zealand, you know that they're quite proud of their dairy industry down there. So while I was there, it was very hard for me to find vegetarian food that didn't have any dairy in them. So I didn't spend the entire time there on a strict vegan diet, which is what I wanted to do. But I learned two very important things while I was there. Number one is that I need to be prepared myself. I need to create an, the environment around myself to be able to have some kind of snack food that meets my diet requirements. So when I'm on my motorcycle for five days in New Zealand, I'm going to have something to eat. And that might be a, a granola bar, it might be some nuts. Whatever it is, I need to be prepared. The second thing I needed to do was I needed to get over the uncomfortable feeling I have of asking a chef to prepare a special thing for me. So there might be a vegetarian thing on the menu, but it might have mushrooms in it, which I don't like. Or it might have cheese in it, which I don't want to eat. But it makes me uncomfortable to have to ask them to change so now I have to get over that uncomfortable feeling myself if I want to keep on my diet. And I do, so I will. So now it's your turn. I want you to go back and look at the habits that you've created, that you have on your list, and what needs to change in your environment to be able to make those good habits better, as well as to make the ability for you to create new habits even easier. Are there things that need to change in your cupboards? Are there things that need to change around you? Do you need to get rid of the Facebook or the television? Do you need to stop playing games on your phone? <laughs> Whatever it is, take a look at your environment around you and see if it supports you or sabotages you. Remember, awareness is key, so take the time and do this now. There's just one other step before we finish this, this uh, series of uh, steps for creating new habits in your life. So join us for our last video on creating habits and we'll see you then. For more information, please visit allindemind.com.sg. You may contact Lin Lee Craig, their happiness facilitator at Lin Lee at allindemind.com dot com dot sg that is l i n d l e y at a l l i n t h e m i n d dot com dot sg to learn more about natural alternatives for long-term memory and ways you can attain and maintain optimal concentration, please visit our website at www.clarimind.com or you can call us for English service at 1-800-721-6301 or for other languages at 1-800-721-0650.
You can also fax us at 1-888-792-1211. Alternatively, you can also email us via the contact form that can be found on our website.